to merge onto State Route 16 East toward Tacoma. Hey everyone! So probably many of you just wondering where is the guy? Why no more videos about RV10 build? So I decided to make this video and to answer all your questions. Well, everything goes well with my build. I'm still in progress. So I faced some showstoppers and one of the biggest showstoppers is my, well, my intention to build the overhead console myself so basically as you remember from previous video i was talking about that that i uh, decided to build that large turn left piece of art on my own uh, to to make my own uh, overhead console for the for the roof for the ceiling so i decided to make that overhead console i decided to try myself in fiberglassing Obviously, as the guidance, I used YouTube videos. And I must say that on YouTube, is always everything is super simple. Like YouTube, uh, how to do that. <laughs> YouTube how to is always very simple. It's blah, 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 and it's done. But in fact, in reality, it's very difficult. So right now I'm at the stage where I, I'm working on the actual mold so i already making a mold and separately separately i'm recording those videos so i'm like gaining my material and before new year eve so before maybe even before christmas i'll do my best to release a video with the whole process of what is done so the rest is stays the same about my build uh, my fuselage is in the same stage as it was in the, in the last video. Cabin top is removed and I'm not proceeding further with cabin top because first I have to attach my my part, my, uh, my center console, like top center console, which I'm currently building because obviously it's easier to do when the cabin top is upside down rather than make it when cabin top is already installed on the airplane. So that's my airplane. Aside of that, process is going. My avionics. Well, with avionics, I have a few big steps forward. So I finished my small instruments, uh, all three. So mini uni one, mini uni two, mini uni three models, and also the mini explain model, which is uh, the one which more powerful version of mini uni with maps um, I currently testing my engine monitor yeah I I also build the engine monitor which is universal for four or six cylinder engines um, I'm testing it but obviously I cannot test it on the airplane yet because I haven't installed it onto the airplane so I'm now just testing it well making a static ground tests uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be coming out in two models the first model of engine monitor will be separate dedicated model which can be installed under the cooling or inside and it can be connected to any of my FS systems and FS system can be easily converted to engine monitor and the second version is going to be the version with a display all in one unit well, that's the plan uh, I also uh, almost finished the work building my VIX VIX is a voice information computer system so it's basically a small box which helps you to which gives you a voice commands such are let's say when you're climbing it gives you your altitude every hundred feet up to 1000 after that it tells you altitude every thousand feet for example when you're going for landing to the field it tells you every hundred feet below thousand again um, you can set it up for specific altitude and if you're holding that altitude system will be quiet but as soon as you deviating more than certain amount of feet or percentage it will warn you like you are too high or too low same for the speed you set it for you preset it for specific speed 
And if you deviate from that speed by certain amount of knots or miles or kilometers, doesn't matter, uh, it will warn you. I call it a speed director and altitude director. So that's another functionality. And the third functionality is uh, when you flying and something goes wrong with, let's say, engine monitor parameter goes wrong or you forgot to retract or um, like your landing gears or anything, anything what can be triggered, it will tell you, it will give you an alarm, it will tell you something is not right. Or let's say you set up a timer and every 40 minutes it will warn you switch fuel tanks. So that's an example of what voice system can do. Finally, I bought myself a prop. Yeah, so as you, all of you or most of you know, I not long time ago, I received my engine for my RV10. And today I got my prop. And actually right now I'm returning back from the guy in Washington state and driving back home up north to Canada with my prop in my box, in my truck in the back. So yeah, I got a prop. It's a hard zone, constant speed. Uh, it's the same model what Vance recommends for RV10s with the metal blades. It's not new, so it has some hours on it, but just a tiny bit of hours. It's in great shape, in great condition, and uh, I like the prop, how, how it looks, the condition of the prop. I reviewed the history of the prop, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm confident it's good. So yeah, I'm bringing back my prop now to Canada and uh, I have my prop, which, which is great. I would like to, a couple of minutes, elaborate on another uh, like important topic, which is now discussed on forums, on Vance Air Force, about Vance aircraft and delays and all what is related. I mean, I'm in no way blaming Vance. Uh, I, for example, totally understand very well what's going on, what's happening, and I'm sure they're doing their best to, to keep. Uh, again, it's only my personal opinion, but what I would, let's call it improve, just personal opinion, what I would improve from the van's side. Improve doesn't mean it's bad, but it can be improved. First of all, is the communication. It's extremely important to keep your customer always updated. So Greg from Vance, he's doing a great job in, on forums, like his recent posts I was reading and November posts, and he was trying to explain everything in details. But, well, Greg is a very busy guy, right? I mean, like, I, I think he was promoted to even higher position. So he's a very busy guy. It's not probably his job to spend hours on forums and providing information. So maybe Vans, maybe you and forums are one of the very important routes how information goes to its customers. Just because despite Vans has their own website, which they use to, to provide all information to customers, well, there are forums and many of us are on the forums. So Vans, please, maybe you can assign someone for the forums, the person who will spend part time, I don't know, reading forums and writing updates. Second moment, communication through emails. Again, I totally understand that Vance is crazy busy right now. I'm sure it's crazy busy with emails. I was emailing often and usually email from you from Vance starts like hey Vlad or hi Vlad or hello Vlad blah 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 and the last time my two emails I was just patiently asking about creating date and like I just got a single sentence, single, ten, single sentence response, like no hi, no bye, just single sentence. So, but I understand it's not because your people like are rude, no, in no way like that. They are very nice people and I know whom I'm communicating with and I know that they're just beautiful people. It's just because I can imagine you're crazy busy. Um, so communication, I know you 
advanced, you created that beautiful page, which is uh, uh, www.vanceaircraft.com kit status slash kit status which by typing your uh, by typing your builder number email and zip code you can get your uh, kit status update but hell please guys update that page imagine people coming to that page and they see that last updated november 9 i don't believe it's so hard for your programmer to fix that, to make daily update. Does not matter that status does not change. For us, as for customers, it's extremely important to stay updated. We want to be updated. Maybe from some of your perspective, like, okay, we told you your creating date is gonna happen next year and just sit and wait. But especially when, times, when time come, uh, comes, when time comes, when also with also speculations online about oh you know Vance is delaying for another six months kids it creates lots more of nerves for people like people starting to be nerves like oh what's going on with my kid and obviously people have plans because when we building something we're planning please make your efforts hire contractor programmer if you don't have in-house one who can uh, who, who, who is able to make that improve your update system let everyone know that now we have that update system please make it it is very important we probably need some system which just can give us a simple update but even for you it's gonna be much less stress imagine now everyone emailing to kids and saying what's my creating date did it change I'm worried I'm sure you're getting those emails I, I don't know but I'm sure I just predicting so now, if everyone knows there is online page, just let people go online and check it online. I'm sure people are gonna be happy. One more thing. Uh, I send, I'm sending an email to orders, I think, or whatever, the email address for who serves the online store, asking some questions about excluding of the items. I'm not getting my response for a days. I know why is that I'm not blaming anyone again. I know perfectly no, you are super busy because you have like probably thousand guys like me sitting and emailing to you. So no offense, I understand, take your time. But if you can implement a simple ticket system, means I sent you email and I got my response, bam. Your email is received, your ticket is assigned, your ticket number is blah, 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 current status, waiting to be assigned. <laughs> Good, I can check the ticket online, thank you, I go to the link. In three days, I click on the link, it says, your ticket was assigned to Mr. John Doe. <sighs> I know that my ticket is in progress, my email is looked by someone, I will wait more. I need to wait a week, two weeks, I will wait. I will patiently wait because I know that someone is working on my email and someone will answer to me. All right, that's end of my speech about Vance. Now, about my build, I told you as much as I could at, the, at this point. I will release a new video soon. And thank you for watching. And hey guys, don't forget to push a like button. You know what? I actually never paid attention to that. I have subscribers, I know that people are subscribing because they probably like a content. Uh, but, <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's shame on me, I mean, being a programmer, being a person who, well, knows all this stuff well, I never paid attention, because I'm not a web programmer probably, I have nothing to do with web programming, I'm a those, that dinosaur programming programmer who does hardcore electronics like i can do a phones electronics computers anything c c sharp objective c whatever but electronics i didn't notice the fact that if my video have has more likes it's gonna be moved by on google by its own so hell stupid me i never ask you to like my videos guys please like my video and probably it's gonna reach more audience. <laughs> I don't know why I never ask you about that. So, thank you. And stay tuned, stay tuned for new videos. There will be more videos, more videos with my airplane build and my kids are 
helping me and you will see that as well and more videos about my avionics stay tuned stay safe bye bye see you in your videos